Hey everybody, this video, as you see in the title, is how I budget or how to budget. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. But um, I recently was telling my friend how to budget and she thought I should just do the video. I'm not no expert accountant or anything like that and I'm not going to give you my numbers because that's personal. But I can tell you some tips on how to do it. Um, it's pretty simple but a lot of people might not know how to do it so I was taught by someone to do it this way and this is how I do it you're gonna go ahead and get a pen and paper and write this stuff down you don't have to do it right now or you can just repeat the video later but the video um what you're gonna need is what you make monthly so if you get paid weekly it's best if you get paid weekly if you get pay paid bi-weekly it's a little harder but you're still gonna do it so you're gonna put what you get paid weekly on the top or you don't even have to do that I don't do that because I get paid differently every week. But um, this is how we do it at home. So we put down what we get paid week uh, mon monthly on the top. And then you put all your pri all your bills on the bottom. So how do you budget? You're going to put um, your rent or mortgage. You're going to put your car insurance. You're going to put groceries on there. There's my son. <laughs> We're waiting for him to go inside. Um, so I have time to kill. Um, what else? Monthly groceries, everything that you need to live, not like if you have a car payment, not, oh, I went out to eat, da, 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 da. you could budget yourself if you spend $20 a month eating out lunch here and there, or if you spend 50 you could put everything that you spend there, but put, put priority things first. So you're going to do all that. Whatever the total comes out to, you're going to divide it by how many weeks. If you get paid bi-weekly, you're going to divide it by two. And if you get paid bi-weekly, you're going to divide it by four. When you divide it by four, <laughs> when you divide it by four, the way I, I do it differently because I don't use my debit card as much. But um, let's say my monthly bills are $100. So 100 divided by four is 25. So I'm going to make sure that every time I get paid, I put that $25 on the side so, not, so I don't use it. So I leave it in my checking because I use my checking just to pay credit card bills and cell phone bill. So you go and you put that in your, you put that aside and then the other stuff you put into your savings and you start, later on you're going to see your savings, you're going to see your saving money. And then you can use that for a big chunk of your credit card debt or just leave it there for an emergency or whatever. And that is how you budget. You gotta take that money aside. So that way, in those four weeks, $25, you, you have it. You have your $100 for the week. That's my example. Or your $100 for the month. And you already have it. You didn't spend it. You didn't misplace the money if it's in the bank account. And that is how you budget. Very, very simple. Um, there's people that just put their, put their check in there and then just spend, spend, spend. They don't see what they spend. And that's bad. So, like I said, put the money aside where you are not able to touch it for that month. And then you start paying your bills or whatever you need to pay. And save the rest. You don't have to spend your whole check. You know, if you're trying to save money, that's the way you do it. And what other tip? Oh, um, I don't spend a lot. Like, if you're going to spend, if you spend money here and there and you're swiping the car, you need to keep receipts and or look in your account all the time to know that you're not overspending you have to make sure you're you have enough like I said if you put that money to the side you'll know that you have the money now if you go and you spend you know you're just like oh I'm gonna have it with my last check what if you got sick what if your last check is gonna cover your whole entire month but what if you got sick or something you just don't know like as me right now I'm gonna get like one day a week because it's like layoff season and stuff so I'm really tight on money but I actually make enough to pay my own bills because I stay I'm a stay-at-home mom and I work the weekend my husband's the one that makes most of the money but I hope this um this is a helpful video for you guys and I will see you guys in another video like comment and subscribe